designer at Fashion Magazine, and today we are at Canadian Apparel, um, a pop-up for Canadian designers at 499 Sweet Street West. You might recognize it as the old American Apparel if you were a club kid in Toronto between 2007 and a few weeks ago. Um, unfortunately, American Apparel shuttered its doors, but it has been transformed into a pop-up for Canadian designers, so let's go check it out. Pretending to be important. Yeah, Sorry. creative director for One Meth Good. Yep. And thanks for talking to us today. Our pleasure, thanks for coming. <laughs> pre, this is the pre pre. We're getting a sneak peek over here. Yeah, so it's a little rough around the edge. <laughs> Can you tell us a bit about the pop up event this weekend and why you guys chose this space? Of course, yeah. So we are. We took over the American Apparel at Queen Street West near Queen Spadina, and it just, the opportunity. Uh, presented itself and we just jumped on it, flipped the whole thing to Canadian apparel, called up some of our friends that also produce stuff in Canada and then also Googled a few people I didn't know about and ended up we got 10 brands that everyone makes everything in Canada. Um, can you guys keep it down a little bit? Um, yeah, so we got 10, 10 brands producing all here. Every, everyone makes everything in Canada, so that was what brought all together. And yeah, it's all coming out. We're almost done, so it's gonna be a little loud. Hopefully, that's not. It's too a preview loud. of things to come tonight when you have your VIP media party. Yeah. Um, so this is an amazing uh, spot on Queen Street West, which is like one of the best shopping strips in all of Canada, and amazing for some smaller brands to get some exposure. Why do you think it is that Canadian brands sometimes have trouble breaking into the local retail scene? Um, I think. Traditionally, for Canada's always been a little bit. It just felt like second, second rate for some reason. We're just maybe brought up that way, and all of a sudden, recently, I feel like there's a big resurgence in being proud of a local and people actually hearing "Made in Canada" and being proud about it. So, I mean, some of that maybe stems from like Drake and Weekend really dominating, but I think also everyone's just looking at a local level and seeing that the people that live beside them make cool stuff. And, yeah, I think it's been a real challenge in the past. I think now we're starting to come to a place where we, everyone can be proud of what we're making here. Awesome. Yeah. You guys have some great brands with you uh, yep. over the weekend. What is it about some of the brands that you've partnered with that you guys feel like you have a real connection with them, like a like-minded kind of setting? Uh, well, I mean, the number one thing is every label says made in Canada, which is really important here. Um, Besides that, I mean, there's some brands we're really close with, I would say, like actually like our designers, good friends. You can turn right there, see Mr. Get Fresh himself. Hello, uh, hello. He loves you. <laughs> he, uh, that's from, you know, he, he set up shop just down the road. So I think there's like, there's a bit of an intimacy between people just working together close to each other. And some people work in it, like actually get our stuff made in the same factory. So there's that. Uh, but then there are brands that we weren't even necessarily close with and just meeting them this week, it's like everyone seems to be on the same page, if that makes sense. Yeah, it feels like there's a good community of like, kind of grassroots home base here. <laughs> totally. great to see. Um, so let's take a little tour of some of the clothes that you're probably most familiar with. Cool. The One Meth Goods. Yes. The OGs. <laughs> yeah. um, we're debuting a few things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is probably our biggest piece I'm most excited for. This is a tech trench. So for the first time, I think uh, One Meth Goods is getting into more tech materials and tech fabrics. So this is um, actually uses Dimtex, which is like Gore-Tex. Uh, Gore-Tex is um, copyright or uh, ran out. So now anyone can make that same sort of technology. Uh, and yeah, it's brief. So it's like it's waterproof, windproof, um, highly breathable. Um, and you'll see the trench style, it's, it's got a nice uh, like, uh, fleece lining there. Uh, I think it's got the two-way zippers, and well, it can't get that going, but uh, yeah, interesting finishes, and the, the, the drop bottom baseball style the back trench. Yeah, we're excited. This is today's day one, the first time anyone can buy it, so we're excited about that. It's like uh, a great spring piece. Yeah, similar uh, spring piece. This one's in cotton. This is um, a cotton fabric that our designer slaved over. So 420 GSM, you feel it's like nice and thick and ripped. Oh, yeah. um, you can feel it too, camera <laughs> operator. <laughs> yes. 
Uh, yeah, I love this one. We've, we've had this uh, for a little bit now and almost sold out. Um, but we just made a few more for the show here. So that should be big. That's our cotton trench. Well, and like I was saying to you before, I love the longer length on anything. That's kind of like one last signature, I feel like. A lot of your totally, yeah. garments have like that nice long length. Mm -hmm. It's kind of interesting because you don't usually see guys, especially wearing longer tees and stuff. Yeah, I never was into the long stuff until my boss and our, the designer both sort of got me into it. And yeah, it's crazy now you see everyone in the office, in our office at least, regardless of sort of what their background or style is, everyone's sort of just going a little bit longer, a little bit longer, um, scooping stuff, and layering. So I think everyone's kind of trending in that direction, which is cool. It's nice too because streetwear, most of the time, you would see like you know really over the top designs, mm -hmm. and it's great. I think that these clothes are kind of more. It's like about the silhouettes and the fabrics and the textures as opposed to like really obnoxious labels or you know crazy oh, yeah. crazy designs. Yeah, I mean if we jump over to Faded, which is our sister brand or brother brand, <laughs> uh, I think. Faded's leading that. I think they're, they're, everything they do is refined. And, and their designer, John Vichimoni, really, everything from the colorways to the design just should feel minimal, but very stylish and, yeah, reserved and refined. This is, this is some new stuff here. If you pull back, brand new. This is our new um, moleskin. Yeah, so that's that organic moleskin that was sourced from right here in Canada. It's got these Riri two-way zippers, which are really fancy zippers. Uh, this little cell phone pocket. This one's not lined, so it's kind of perfect for right now because, well, shit, today's like 15 degrees, so you'd wear it without a sweatshirt underneath, but if tomorrow drops to minus 10, you just throw in one of these um, sweatshirts and you're kind of good to go. So that's it's kind of the perfect fit. And then we got the matching uh, cargos, which um, half Half elastics on the back, half elastic also on the waistline, um, six pockets, and yeah, the drawstring. These guys are love these. Yeah. The monochrome look is so hot right now. <laughs> <laughs> and I, you guys use a really special kind of wool for some of the faded stuff, right? Uh, there is some wool. Well, most of the stuff you're seeing here is cotton, okay. and it's all locally sourced stuff. Uh, this is some Japanese denim. Really cool. Stretches. Um, yeah, with the, the raw edge at the bottom. Um, and what's the price point difference between these two brands? Uh, yeah, so Faded is supposed to be just a little bit more high end um, and one map a little more accessible. So we're looking at for uh, one method t shirts going to be about 80 bucks, for Faded it's going to be about 110. And then, yeah, sweatshirts can go kind of all over the map. but. Um, yeah, sort of one meth mid-range and faded a little bit nicer. <laughs> yeah. You've got all the nice neutral color yeah. palettes here. Really but you and me are not nailing that neutral I know. color palette today, so we're off. I've got my Fendi S red boots on, so that's okay. I, can, I still have time to shop a little bit. <laughs> Alright, so we're just going to check out a few of the other brands that you guys are going to have um, over the weekend. So, the Feral. This to me kind of looks like really, it's got some military inspired detailing, lots of the pockets on the sleeves, drawstring. Yeah, I love the sewn in um, layering details here, especially if we, if we look at this. Uh, I should mention here, I am by no means an expert on these brands. So I'm, I'm just fans of them, so. We're just going to fan out a yeah. little bit over them. The nice uh, military jacket as well. Yeah, I think this one's pretty much sold out. I was looking on their website a couple of days ago, so it looks like they have a few double XLs, but yeah, this is a popular piece. Seems like a good thing to get for your boyfriend that you can then wear yourself. Hello. <laughs> is that a hint? <laughs> okay, and then over Next here. Up, outclass. outclass. So I was saying to you, this kind of reminds me of like a preppy guy who maybe he goes around like tagging stuff at night. Like he's a little raw around the edges, a little unexpected. Looks like linen. I think this is a linen top. Yep. Blue linen chambray popover. Oh yeah. Oh, just a little popover. <laughs> no 
big Perfect deal. for spring, and you yeah. can layer it with some nice navy and your khakis, khakis, and you're good for, you know, the country club or like maybe going out after dark you know, to just a club. Yeah, I really like Outcasta stuff. So if you're into, yeah, just there's, they've also got some nice sweats. Looks like Terry, Terry sweatshirts, and just really nice, slick stuff that's also comfortable. And Andrew Coimbra? Yeah. <laughs> We've got some things here that look uh, kind of like 80s s to me, or like they're boring from Andy Warhol's pop art vibe. Um, I love the muscle tee vibe with the snacks. Yeah, that's cool. I haven't seen anything like that. <laughs> and then, you know, some nice stripes, just uh, fusing things with a little, a little wildness. Andrew's boot's really cool. It's over there. It's got some nice... Uh, Take a little photos. walk around after this. Sorry, things are getting a little loud. It's okay. <laughs> uh, and then Get Fresh Company. Yeah. So I think we met Fresh before. He's the guy who runs Get Fresh Company, and they are they're located on Queen Street. They're a staple for Toronto streetwear. Just killing it. And they have so they have their main line, which everyone knows. This is a super popular shirt downtown Toronto. Um, Represent. <laughs> and they have their bare bones stuff, which is basically their essentials. They're things that just the, the bare bones you would have in any closet. Uh, this one's pretty nice. It looks like a terry cotton. Um, Hundred seventy-five dollars. Toasted almond. Oh, sounds amazing. Uh, and this one, I actually love zippers on the side. I love a big chunky zipper. It's just such a nice, yeah. yeah, it's just a nice uh, design detail, I think. <laughs> and they got their kids line, which is air, like H E I R. Yeah. Air to the throne. Look how cute that step is. Look at these little danglers. Those so are the like... skinniest legs I've ever seen. <laughs> If you can't decide if you want to wear long pants or short pants, you, these, these and, and you're all. two years old, yeah, this is for you. And little tiny oh. shoes to go with it. The a kid line, they make the most amazing creative shoes. Amazing. I want them all in adults. Or for your dashboard. Or your car. <laughs> and then we have some bags by Crane. Uh, this is like to me like. You need a good bag for work, but you don't want to feel like you're selling out or like becoming your parents. This is like the most awesome, distressed mm -hmm. kind of bag. Very cool. With some weekend vibes. Uh -oh. oh, music's starting. Hello. So yeah, as you can see, they've got some of the booths set up. Almost ready. Yeah. And they, I love that you guys have kept the, the look and feel of right. the American apparel stuff, but... I'm trying to just pack it. Yeah, they made it your own. Even the chocolate. There is stuff in there. <laughs> Medium apparel. All right, what, what are the hours that you guys are open this weekend? Oh, that is a good point. Okay, so yeah, we are open uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday this weekend. Friday, doors open at noon every day, so Fridays noon till 8 p.m., Saturday noon till 8 p.m., Sunday noon till 6. Please, yeah, come by, check it out, meet some people who live near you that make some cool shit. <laughs> yeah, definitely. If you're around in the area, come by and support and show some love for Canadian Apparel. Well, thank you so much, Max, for, for talking to us. Thanks for coming, Nicole. Thanks, guys. Bye. Yeah, come by. <laughs>